Hello, YouTubers. This is uh, Johnny. Uh, welcome to NASDAQ channel. Today, um, I'm going to talk about the uh, CyberArk PAS solution 11.1. Um, I was doing a lab on a version 10.8, but now um, since 11.1 has been come out for a while, I'm going to start to do some lab with 11.1. This is the first lab for 11.1. I'm going to start with the LDAP integration. Uh, lab environment is the same as before. So we log into our component server, which has some um, PVWA installed, PSM installed, CPM installed on the same machine. You're going to log in as a built in administrator user. After you logged in, usually they will show you the account view. Um, you can take a quick browse to it to see uh, the system health. You can see PVWA has been installed. CPM has installed, PSM has import, installed. There's a one issue disconnected from a PSM gateway. Um, the server hasn't come up, so that's probably that's why it disconnected. Um, there's a changes. The LDAP integration used to be under the administration tab in version 10.8, but in the new version 11.1, LDAP integration move to the new tab called the user provisioning. Other than that, the process is similar. You just go to new domain. Then you need to choose a domain name, which is our lab name, cyber arc demo.local. You can keep use Secure connection SSL as default settings, which is enabled. So we need to set up a bind username. Bind username is a username you already created in your AD account, which gave you connection from your CyberArk path solution to your AD. So we already created this account before, so we can use that. Find account at cyber arc demo dot local password. So next step is the domain based context. You can find uh, this information from your AD admin or you can use following format to enter as your own lab environment. The next step, they will find, uh, after you build a connection, they will find out the available domain controller. So we only have one domain controller in our lab environment, which is DC01. So we're gonna connect to it. Um, it's working well, so now we have to do uh, create a directory mapping. It's optional, you can do it now, you can do it later. I prefer to do it now, but if you're AD, you haven't created those group before, you may skip it and then do it later, it's fine. But since we already did that, I'm gonna start in to work on this. So first is about that mean. Gonna put a group here. And safe manager. You have group created. Great. Next one will be auditors.
great. Next. Okay, we haven't finished last one users. Next. So here is a summary for your LTAP integration. Uh, you can take a look again, settings here, which is domain name, connection using secured SSL, find the username, LTAP based context, and then TC server, and also your directory mapping settings. Save. Um, it's, it's finished. So now you can expand the uh, domain and see the format setting. Okay, then what we can do, we can test it out. We can use a domain LDAP authentication. We were using CyberArk authentication um, to log in. And now we're gonna change it to LDAP. Um, well, that main user zero one and what password oh, we logged in we use the LDAP integration logged in and then we can see one of the accounts is already in here um that's pretty much everything for integration LDAP um this is a version 11.1. That's not a big difference from 10.8. Um, if you like it, please give me a thumb up. I will have more videos come out. Subscribe my my channel, and you will get more notifications about the new videos. See you later.